What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here at the big pond and occasionally I don't like to film these type of things but two of my red tails today are going to a new home. These things burn a hole in my pocket every single time I feed them. It's at least eight to ten dollars every single time I feed these fish. They eat about ten fillets of tilapia and that is a lot. So we're gonna be catching out two of my red tails today and bringing them over to Nick's pond. It's gonna be super cool. They're gonna have a really great home and they're gonna have a lot more room to swim around. Since this pond is so clustered right now with so many catfish, I think I have around 15 exotic catfish in here. An albino clown nightfish, at least six to seven paku, two bass, a peacock bass, and what else is there? An alligator gar and two bluegill. That's all I really know that's in here right now. So let's get out to my red tail catfish. All right, so here we go. We got the first one out. This thing is huge. Well over 20 inches right here is my guess. Way bigger than my foot and I wear a size 12. Look at that. My foot is only a tiny bit compared to that fish right there. So this thing's a giant. This is one of them and we have to get the other one out and also put it inside of the cooler and carry it back. So let's go for another one. And the current update is, I still haven't caught one, but I ran back to my house and got a bigger cooler since I know these fish would be having a decent ride. So I brought the bigger cooler to make the fish feel a little bit more safe and not get as stressed out. Another current update. It has been another 20 minutes and I have finally caught the red tail. These things are absolutely massive. I've grown them out since they were this big. This big to say like from my chest to my hand. Huge. Over 20 inches, both of them guaranteed these things are going to be monsters and they're going to have a very happy life since they're going to be in a more open area with more things to do because I can't lie, it was getting pretty crowded inside of this pond. So now I'm going to wait till Nick to get to my house. We're going to see what goes on from there. We're going to carry this back to my truck, bring it all the way to his dad's house, set him inside of the pond. It is going to be super cool. So stay tuned and you guys will see some really cool things. All right, so we made it back over to Nick's house. You might remember him from this video. The old hot is. Got him. No. Got him. Got Nick's him. got him. We're about, to, we're about to feed the bass. Whoa! <laughs> that video. Yep, we got a turtle. What's his name? Frank. Frank. Or even this video right here. You're supposed to know. This is a leopard pleco. A leopard pleco? So we got the two red tails inside of the cooler right here. You get the size difference right here. One is a little bit bigger than the other one. They're gonna be going inside of this pond that is right back here. Get a little bit of acclimation right here for these guys because they're in the cooler for a little bit. 45 minute drive from my house. Down here, probably gonna let them sit inside of the cooler for 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna put them in we have the bass in here, which we're gonna have to catch out, so that'll probably be a little bit of fun. We'll probably video that too. What pleco was that down there? No, they were babies. I put them in here when they were like not even an inch long. I caught them. In the oh lord. That was probably the easiest we've ever had catching a bass out of here. Let's go throw them in the backyard, Carson. Let's go. All right, we're gonna give them a nice little drop. Goodbye, Toss them buddy. in there. See ya. There you go. Right into the lake out of back here big old canal. All right, here we go in for the second bass right here. All right, there we go. He went through the net two times and now we finally got him out. Oh, um, look, I got white film on my hands. There you go. Literally the slippery oh, film on my hands. So like I said before, we have these fish in here acclimating for about 15 minutes. He also has a big old clown knife inside. Really? Clown knife fish inside the pond down here and also two Oscars and some smaller cichlids down here. There you go, big spots on them. Yeah, he's huge. And also the Oscars and that right there, you just missed them, but those are the cichlids. All right, red tails can live a long time out of water. Very, very hardy fish. And these ones are probably a little bit over 20 inches, I would say. 
this what? guy is not chill. They're not gonna chill out though, that's the thing. Just let him get his energy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, these things do not want to calm down. Alright. Alright, alright. Chill out, buddy. Alright, I think that should be it. We got the red toes right here. Come over here, come check this out. Acclimated for probably 15 minutes. Put a lot of water inside of the cooler. Now they're gonna be going in the pond. Oh my gosh, that thing soaked me. All right. They did not wanna chill out. That is for sure. Let me see it. All right, here we go. Here is one. You cannot see the size in the video at all, but that thing is pretty freaking big. Both of them are probably a little bit over 20 inches. The other one is back over there underneath the waterfall. So cool. And this is the pond they're gonna be staying in until they get the bigger pond, which is gonna be at next mom's house. The other one decided he wanted to come out too. Look at him. So cool. And these fish are gonna be eating. What every day, Nick? Shad. Shad every single, single day. The little freezer right here going. This is the shad they're going to be eating. Obviously not this shad. Yeah. It's a little That's bit old. What they look like. That's what they look like. That little guy right there. Those are the, probably the best things for them to eat too. And the reason why the shad are the best things for them is because they're straight out of the out of Lake Ida right there. Fresh. Every single time he comes and catches them, puts them right inside of the water, and they are devouring them every single time. And we are back out here the next day after... We already filmed everything yesterday, and I want you guys to name one of the catfish. One of the catfish that we put in Nick's pond yesterday, one of them is already named Beans Jr. from his old red tail catfish, which is massive. It is at Ketchum Mall's house right now. But I want you guys to go down below and name one of the catfish that we put inside of the pond yesterday. And um, the other one is Beans Jr., like I just said. And now it is time to feed my fish because we're back over here at the pond. It's still a little bit murky from yesterday, which is gonna be fine, but it is kind of murky out here still. So you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see everything besides obviously my big catfish coming up and destroying some tilapia. <laughs> there we go, that's the big catfish right there. I wanna feed him a bigger piece now. Since he is bigger and he does need more food than the rest of them. Here you go, buddy. That is probably one of the coolest fish I have. Oh, here's my smaller hybrid. That is my medium sized hybrid in this pond. And there's also one more, the one with the messed up face, but we're gonna cut up the rest of the tilapia except for one. We're gonna have to go and feed the fish to the house with that. All right, so we just finished feeding the fish at the big pond. Now we're gonna head back to the house and feed the smaller fish in the small ponds and also in my fish tank. All right, and since I've always wanted to show you guys this, I'm gonna be making my arowana jump out of the water for a piece of tilapia. And you guys are gonna see the whole entire thing. That was actually insane. I thought he was gonna destroy my finger, but he missed by literally that much. He hit his nose on my hand, so it was really, really close to hitting me. So that is pretty much where I'm gonna end off today's video. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching. And I know I have been very much slacking on all of my uploads lately. I am sorry for that. I swear one day we will get back to the normal pace. But I just don't think it's going to happen right now because everything is all like whack, out of shape and everything. There's holidays coming up. There's a whole bunch of stuff to do. I really don't want to make excuses, but I'm just saying the truth that there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on. I have a lot of things planned and I'm trying to do a lot of things for you guys and also for all of my surroundings like my fish tanks and everything like that I really really want to get the tank room set up I don't know if it's gonna happen soon but I know it's gonna happen for sure all my tanks are gonna be in one room it's gonna be super cool we're gonna be breeding guppies in a matter of no time and we're gonna have literally hundreds and hundreds of those things and make sure if you guys really like this video to go and leave a comment down below hit the like button and also the subscribe button put the post notifications on if you did like this video and yes if you guys skipped past the part where i said you guys need to go and name the red tail catfish make sure you go down below and name the red tail catfish one is already named beans jr the one that nick was holding in the thumbnail so just make sure you go and name one of those catfish too and this is where i'm gonna end off the video thank you all for watching 
and I will see you all in my next video.